Dr. Niku Madhusudhan, a scientist from the University of Cambridge, and his colleagues made the discovery of the strongest ever sign of life on another planet. For the first time ever, there is a chance that we discovered aliens on other planets. This is a historical discovery. Professor Niku found a gas on a faraway planet that usually comes from living things. Niku said, We detected for the first time ever carbon-bearing molecules like methane and C2 in its atmosphere. We did not detect other molecules like ammonia, which suggests that it's likely to have an ocean underneath the atmosphere. This finding suggests that Earth might not be the only place with life in the universe, and there might be aliens living on this planet. NASA's James Webb Telescope is on a mission to explore this planet, K218b, searching for signs of alien life. The first picture from the telescope was shown to the public on July 11, 2022. Since that time, scientists have collected a lot of data, especially about life beyond Earth. This data helps us understand stars, planets, and galaxies further into space than ever before. Our interest in life on other stars, planets, and galaxies has driven us to explore new areas. NASA's recent encounter with the exoplanet K218b has moved scientists further in their search and has greatly advanced our ability to answer these questions. The gas they found, called dimethyl sulfide, DMS, is mainly made by tiny ocean plants called phytoplankton. Professor Niku Madhusudhan, who led the study, was surprised when his research hinted at DMS in the planet's air. He said it was a big shock, and he even had trouble telling his team about it. Niku said, We saw a tentative sign of this molecule, dimethyl sulfide, which we weren't sure about, but still, even the very possibility of it being there is enormous. So this is dimethyl sulfide, that's the important gas. Because on Earth, it is produced only from life, only mainly from microorganisms in the Earth's oceans, and it has been known to be a robust biomarker if detected in planetary environments. Scientists are really interested in K218b because now there is a big chance that it might be able to support life. It's way bigger than Earth and covered in water, and this planet is fascinating to both astronomers and exobiologists because it is in the habitable zone and has an interesting atmosphere that might indicate it has life. It's 124 light years away and orbits a red dwarf star named K218. This planet is particularly important in the search for life outside Earth because it has qualities similar to Earth and has been found to contain water vapor, as seen by the Hubble Space Telescope. If they confirm 100% that DMS is on K218b, it would be a big deal. But Dr. Niku Madhusudhan, who's leading the study, says we need to be careful. Even though early data suggests there's a good chance of finding DMS, we need to double-check, but it'll take months to be sure. The fact that we don't know of any natural way for DMS to form without life makes this even more exciting. But even if we find it, K218b is so far away that it would take a spacecraft millions of years to reach it, even at the speed of the fastest probes we have. The scientists were somewhat sure that they found DMS on the planet because they were more than 50% confident in the data from the James Webb Telescope. However, Madhusudhan warns that this doesn't prove anything for sure. He's very careful because past claims about finding alien life, such as fossils on rocks from Mars and gas on Venus, were proven wrong or questioned later on. Niku said, We are not 100% sure yet. It could be anywhere of the order of parts per million, but it's a lot for that particular gas. On Earth, it would be significantly lower than that. Importantly, scientists have not dismissed the possibility of alien life on K218b. They simply said that there isn't enough proof of it right now. Later this year, the James Webb Space Telescope will use a more powerful tool to look at K218b, and it might give us the information that people interested in extraterrestrial life are hoping for. Even though the JWST is really far away, it can still check out what gases are in a planet's air by looking at the light from its star that shines through the clouds. This could help us see if there might be life on other planets. The mission might finally tell us if we're the only ones in the universe. Also, soon, the JWST will study K218b to see if it has methane and carbon dioxide in its air. Methane and carbon dioxide are important gases on Earth. They are linked to life and natural processes like volcanoes, which help maintain ecosystems. Astronomers use a method called spectroscopy to search for life on other planets. This involves studying the light from a star as it goes through a planet's atmosphere. The gases in the atmosphere absorb light in special ways, creating a distinct pattern. This pattern helps scientists understand what the atmosphere is made of. Scientists have been confused about why there's not enough methane there for over 10 years. Niku said, we have to be really sure it's from life on another planet. There are many false positives that can happen. 
but the prospect of that being there has enormous ramifications because the search for life elsewhere has been one of the longest standing quests of our species, of humankind. So if this is when it's going to come true finally, that's a momentous occasion, and we don't take it lightly. Here's what's next. More observations are coming. NASA also discovered that this planet might be a good place for life because it could have a lot of hydrogen in its air and oceans on its surface. Madhusudan said, This shows we should look for life in different kinds of places in space, not just on small rocky planets. Big planets like Haitian ones are better for studying their atmosphere. But we have to wait a bit for more information. Scientists need more time to figure out where this carbon came from. Madhusudan said, If we find a gas called DMS on K218b, it would be a big clue that there might be life there. He also said, Finding life on any other planet would be a huge deal in science history, whether we find it through DMS or not. Chances of finding life? At this stage, I would say 50-50. He also added about future plans. We won't get detection of life with one observation. It'll probably take us closer to truth, and then that'll set off in motion a number of other studies, theoretical and observational. And you know, like all good signs, it'll be gradual. It'll not be like an immediate result, but every step that takes us closer to truth is a huge step forward. And that's what I'm looking forward to. And that's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.